Hi, this is Topher with OS Training. In this series, we're going to take a look at a forms builder for WordPress called Formidable Forms. We'll take a look at both the free version and the paid version, and we'll look at all the features that it has, as well as build some simple forms and some complicated forms so that you can see in real time how it actually works. We're looking at the home page here for the plugin. Here you can get either the paid version or the free version and you can look at all the options that it has. We'll cover that later in the series. I wanted to show you that here also on WordPress.org, you can get the free version. And there are some additional add-ons on WordPress.org to help it do a few more things. One of the great things about Formidable Forms is that it is so flexible. Not only can it build regular forms, but it can take the content from those forms and put them right into a post or you can generate views which allow you to present the input from those forms right on the front of your website. It can work with WooCommerce, or it can have its own payment gateways built right in. Additionally, you can build complicated forms and calculators, like a BMI calculator, a net promoter score survey, a car payment calculator, etc all sorts of things with this. So let's dive in and see how it works. I have an empty install of WordPress here, no plugins, no content. I'm running it locally with local WP. So let's take a look at how to install it. We're going to start by going to plugins, add new, and you always want the free version installed even if you have the pay version, they work together. So the first thing we wanna do is install the free version. And you can see it right here. You can also see a few of the add-ons. Here's one here for Sprout invoices. So let's install the free version. And I'll activate it. And the first thing it does is come up with a welcome page. If you have the paid version, you can connect it here. We're not going to do that for several more videos. We're going to thoroughly investigate the free version first. Let's take a look at some global settings first. There aren't too many global settings. Most settings are related to specific forms that you build, but there are some. Right here, again, you could connect your account or embed uh, a license key if you had one manually. You can choose to load the, the form styling that comes with it on every page or only applicable pages. I strongly recommend only applicable pages. There's a lot of CSS, and if you don't need it on a given page, then you don't want it. Optionally, you can choose not to use the default form styling. So if you have your own, you can disable theirs altogether. So I'm going to choose only on applicable pages. You can also choose to not use CSS grids for form layouts. Grids are really great, actually. I particularly like them. I would only turn them off if you had already said, I don't want to use any other form styling. And then this other section relates mostly to GDPR, which is a privacy law system, mostly stemming in Europe. You can choose not to store IP addresses with form submissions, and you can optionally choose not to include formidable in the admin bar. Now I'm on the back end right now, but on the front end, Formidable can appear. If you don't want that, you can turn it off. If you're the only administrator of your site, this doesn't really matter. So I'm going to click update on these settings right now because I changed this one. So let's look at our message defaults. Now these are messages that would get presented to the user for any particular reason. If there's a failed or duplicate entry, it says, we're sorry, it looks like you've already submitted that. A blank field, submit button, etc. You can change these to be anything you want. Unless you really have a need, I don't recommend changing them. They're great. For permissions, you can choose who can do what with both forms and entries. So for example, you could make it so that only administrators can work with forms, but for entries, maybe you want your editor to work on that. If you use reCAPTCHA, which is those things that make the funny little letters that you have to type into a field, 
you can put in your recapture key here and it will automatically begin using it. The next two options are not available in the free version. There's white labeling and an inbox. White labeling allows you to remove the formidable branding so that it looks like just any other forms plugin. And the inbox allows you to see submissions as an email. We'll look at those later when we install the paid version. And then there's miscellaneous. You can allow formidable forms to track plugin usage to help ensure compatibility and simplify our settings. Basically, you're allowing them into your server to see what kind of setup you have to look for compatibility problems. If you don't want them to be looking in there, don't check this box. If you want to be helpful and help them improve their product, go ahead and check it. I'm going to check mine. And then you can optionally uninstall formidable forms and permanently delete all data. That's the key right there. You can uninstall the plugin normally via the plugins page, but it will not delete all data. It stays in your database. That can be great if you want to come back and, and install it again and have all your forms back and all of your entries back. But if you really don't want to use Formidable at all ever again, and you want to clean up after it as it deletes, you would use this checkbox. So I'm going to click update because I changed this setting. The last thing we're going to look at in this first video is how to upgrade if you wish. And you can click this upgrade button. And the Get Started Now button takes you right over to the Formidable site where you can get all of these extra options. And as again, as I said earlier, we will take a look at all those options in a later video. So I hope you'll join me as we dive in and build some really cool stuff with Formidable Forms.